Welcome everyone into my channel Everything PS. With UMD. Do you want to know how to remove clips from a sequence? This is the right place for you to be. Let's start. Some video editors prefer to add everything to a sequence and then remove the clips they don't want, gradually reducing the content until only the best material remains. For this lesson, I'm working with 0303 Remove Clips from a Sequence. That's a project file you can find with the media associated with this lesson. Just double click on the project file to open it. A large part of video editing is not adding content but removing it. You'll often find you have clips in the sequence you would like to remove. Let's look at some approaches to this. We have a simple sequence with four or five clips in it. And if I select the second clip, kids rolling a tire, and hit the delete key, Premiere Pro leaves a gap. And that might be what I want to do. Because I've decided I don't want that shot. But I do want to put something else in there. And I don't want to move anything around. I'll just fill in the gaps later on. I'm just going to undo that by pressing Ctrl, Z that's Command, Z on Mac OS. If I want to remove this clip. And not leave a gap. I can select it as I have here. By single clicking on it. And I can hold the Shift key down. While I press the delete key. In this way, the shift key is being used as a modifier key. And if you're familiar with using the control key on Windows. Or the command key on Mac OS. With keys like A for selecting all. Or S for saving. Then you'll be familiar with the principle. Hold the shift key down. While you press the delete key. And then release the shift key. Now I'm gonna undo again. And this time I'm going to select multiple clips in the sequence. By holding down the shift key again. So, it's a different use of the shift key. Already got one clip selected right at the end. So, I'm holding the shift key now. And I'm single clicking to select the clip in the middle. And I'm still holding the shift key. And I'm single clicking to select the clip at the beginning. Remember that selection is really important in Premiere Pro. So whatever you have selected, is what you're working on. In this case, my work is to delete the clips. So, I'm pressing the delete key. And those three clips have gone. I'm gonna undo that again. And this time I'm going to go to the track select forward tool. And no click again here. On the kids rolling a tire clip. And I'll press delete again. I've got a bit of a problem. Because the track select forward tool. Actually, select everything on every track from this point forward. So, I'm just gonna undo. And this time I'm going to hold the shift key again. To change the way the track select forward tool works. Now I've got a single arrow. You can just see that. Without the shift you have to do with it I have one. And now if I click, I'm just getting the clips on this track. And I can delete them. But you'll notice that even with the shift key held down to change the way the track select forward tool works. I'm still getting the audio for these clips. And those audio clip segments are separate, however. They were recorded with the regional media. They were imported into Premiere Pro as part of the same media file. And Premiere Pro knows that. So when you select one part of the clip, the other part is slated as well. This functionality is actually controlled by a little option at the top of the timeline right here. This is the linked selection mode. If I turn this option off. And I'm holding the shift key again. So I'm just choosing one track at a time. Now if I click. I'm just getting the video clips from this point forward. And just the video one track. If I turn link selection back on again. With the shift key held down. I'm getting the audio too. So now I can press the delete key. And I have removed those clips. And made room for some alternatives. These are some easy ways to remove unwanted clips from your sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we go we are done for today don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your feedback down below in the comment section. See you next time goodbye.
Thank you.